Hi guys. Oh, the camera's been strange. I'm a funny orange color. Je suis une drôle de couleur. I'm just going to change it. Je vais juste le changer. That's barely better. C'est à peine mieux. It's a funny light. You're going to have to excuse my hair. I've just had a shower. Vous allez devoir excuser mes cheveux. Je viens de prendre une douche. Um, no, that's not much better. There we go. So let's work with a cap until I found my hairbrush. On va, enfin, on va travailler avec une casquette avant que je ne trouve euh, enfin, ma brosse. So, if you're going to be joining today's class, si vous allez faire partie de, de notre cours aujourd'hui, you could use the word class, but that would be the people doing it. Vous pourriez utiliser le mot classe, mais ça serait la, le mot classe, ça serait des gens qui, 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 qui le font. So, if you're going to be doing the class, I need you to send me a WhatsApp. Il faut m'envoyer un WhatsApp. Individually, not in the group. So, can I remind you? Est-ce que je peux vous rappeler? Those who want to do it. Ceux qui veulent le faire. Uh, 7899-732-838. I'm sorry, those of you who um, need a bit more, need to know in advance for this class. Je suis désolé, ceux qui ont besoin de savoir en avance. But, you know, a friend came this week from France. Un ami est venu cette semaine de la France. Um, I teach uh, intensives on the weekend often. Uh, je donne souvent les cours intensifs le weekend. So it, it's just not always possible to know what time I'm going to do it. Ce n'est pas toujours possible de savoir quand est-ce que je vais le faire. So if you're going to be doing the class, if you're going to be doing the WhatsApp, can you send me a private WhatsApp individually? Est-ce que vous pourriez m'envoyer un WhatsApp? So I've got Don, excellent. Don is doing the class. For the moment, Don is the only person doing the class. Pour le moment, Don, c'est la seule personne, la seule personne qui va faire le cours. Somebody else needs to send me a WhatsApp, otherwise we can't continue. Yep. Hi, guys. If you've just come, can you send me a WhatsApp? Can you send me a message so that we can start? Si vous venez d'arriver, est-ce que vous pouvez m'envoyer un message pour qu'on puisse commencer? No, still just done. C'est toujours juste done pour le moment. Dallas Barber, if you're going to take part, I don't need typing here. I need a WhatsApp message. Si vous allez, vous allez euh, enfin, faire le cours, j'ai pas besoin que vous tapiez là. Je, il faut, faut, faut m'envoyer un message. You need to send me WhatsApp. Ray, not in the group. Individually. Individually. Individually, Ray. That's it. So I've got Ray taking part. I've got Don taking part. Um, I'm not doing it until I've got four people taking part. Sorry. WhatsApp me. I've got Ray and Don. You can't just sit. There's nine people watching this. You can't just sit there and spectate. You've got to take part. You've got, you've got, you know, you, you can't just sit and watch. No, that's, you, I don't care if you're scared. Come on, I will give you French at your level. Je vous donnerai du français à votre niveau, à votre niveau. Yeah, this is not, a, this is not an observation class. This is a taking part class. Okay, for the moment, I have Ray and Don. If I don't get four people, guys, I'm not going to do it. And everybody contacts me saying how much they like it. Tout le monde me contacte pour me dire jusqu'à quel point ça leur plaît. But I, I can't do it unless I have enough people doing it.
So nine of you here, that means seven people. So 10 of you here, I can't do it until I have four people. That is a minimum. If I don't get a WhatsApp from the people, I can't do it. So if you want to take part, if you want specific, specific translation, you're going to need to WhatsApp me. The number is up there. One more minute or I'm, keep, I'm, I'm just going. Sorry, guys. I know people have a lot on, but, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing it unless you prepare. I'm not doing it unless you're prepared to do it. Hi, that's lovely saying hello there, uh, you know, uh, Jarrah, but you need to say hello in WhatsApp. We're not doing a typing class. We're doing a WhatsApp class. All right. Last last two minutes or I'm going to go. You need to WhatsApp me on this number, otherwise we can't do it. It's a spoken class. I want voices. Yep. Two minutes left or I'm going to go. No offense. I'm, you know, I understand people are busy if you want to do something else, but I'm not doing it unless people WhatsApp me. Last 60 seconds and then I'm going to quit. Sorry, Ray. Sorry, Dom. But, you know, I need at least four to make this worthwhile. OK, I've got I go. I need one more. You know, I don't like this, guys. There's, there's 10 of you here. Three of you have contacted me. If you're going to watch the class, you need to take part in the class. Yeah, this isn't a lecture. This isn't just to sit there quietly on the outside while other people work. Yeah. I need one more. Or I'm going to go. I've got Ico, Ray and Don. If no one else does it, no offence to you guys, but I need four. I've said I need four. Okay, right, fuck this. I'm going to do this for Ico, Ray and Don. I'm, I'm pissed off, guys. The amount of emails I get from people saying they're going to do it. If you're coming and you're just going to sit there and watch the class lazily while other people work, no thank you. No thank you. It's a speaking class. Right, Ico, this is your thing. Luke is annoyed that nobody um, has contacted Yep, that's for you, Ico. For Dom, Luke is not very happy with the situation. Or uh, who else did I have? And Ray, I need to change how I do the class. That's for Ray. Good. So when you guys have got it, send me a message. Lukey is not happy. Lukey n'est pas content. He could have gone to a, a bonfire night event. Il aurait pu aller un truc de, de feu de camp, but he chose to come for you guys. Mais il a choisi de venir pour vous. And nobody can be bothered to WhatsApp him. Personne peut être foutu de l'envoyer un message, de lui envoyer un message par WhatsApp. So as soon as you've got your answer, if you could send it me. Do you see what I mean? Why well, you need four people? Because if you don't have enough people, there's a lot of waiting time in between answering the, the, the material.
Good, so we have a message from Aiko. Good, so Aiko, I need you to speak loudly. I need you all to speak up. Good, so we've had completely lovely French from Aiko. So Luke is annoyed, Luke est contrarié. Other words for annoyed would be agacé, the verb to annoy, the verb énervé, the verb, uh, uh, she, um, uh, what could we have, uh, vexé. Um, yeah, so we've got Luke is contra, we've got Luke est contrarié. Personne ne l'a contacté. Lovely subjunctive beautiful work, Aiko. So your next one is um, he could have told you all before, but he was busy. That's for Aiko. Great from Ray. Good, Ray was given, I need to change how I do the class. That Ray gave me, je dois changer comment je fais le leçon. I'd like the use of the word le cours, Ray. I wrote. A bit and I want the word cours. Can you go, me, go again, Ray, with I need to, I need to, using the word besoin. Yes, yeah, so Ray, do that again, but with Buzzman. Well. Good, so uh, Don has got, Luke is not very happy with the situation. So Luke est pas heureux, remembering Don that formerly it would be Luke n'est pas heureux, avec la situation, I'd need a the. Luke n'est pas heureux. He, what, this is for Don. He was going to go out this evening because today is important in London. England. Don, he was going to go out this evening because today is important in England. Right. Good, careful, Ray. Now, is it je besoin or what's what am I saying, Ray? How am I saying I need? You said je besoin. Is that correct for I need? One more time, Ray. Pardon, pardon me for the silences. Je m'excuse pour les, les silences, mais, but that's why it's it's crap when there's only three people. C'est pourquoi c'est merdi quand il n'y a que trois personnes. Good, Ray, nice accent. J'ai besoin de changer comment je fais le cours. Good, lovely. So, j'ai besoin de plus infinitive. Great. Next one for Ray. Um, I needed to change how I... Uh, used to do, actually know how I did, class. Let's imagine, Ray, imaginons that I'm talking about something that used to happen regularly in the past. Imagine que je parlais de quelque chose qui se passait régulièrement au passé. Yeah? And I say, well, in those days, I needed to change how I did the class. So you're hearing different pasts in English. Vous entendez les passés différents en anglais. I want you to think about how you're going to do that. Oui, je veux que vous pensiez à comment vous allez le faire en français. That's for Ray. Any of the other five people who are present, other than the three doing the work, 
bloody get off your ass and, and send, me some, send me a voice message. Ceux qui sont présents, enfin, bougez vos culs, quoi. Envoyez-moi un message. WhatsApp me, I'll send you some translation. I'm scared, I'm scared. Bullshit, life's too short. La vie est trop courte. Yeah, do it. I will, I will give it you according to your level. Yeah? If you need the number to WhatsApp me, download WhatsApp and send a voicemail. Right. Uh, no response yet? Greatly. Lovely. Lee's here. Lovely. So message for Lee to translate, okay? Um, I am happy that uh, you... Uh, just arrived. That's for Lee. I'm happy that you've just arrived. If you hear banging in the background, si vous entendez les, ex les explosions, it's because here is bonfire night. Um, it's the 5th of November. Ici, c'est le 5 novembre, which is where we celebrate, en fait, um, from Fete to celebrate, uh, many years ago, people tried to blow up our government. Uh, des gens, ils ont essayé de faire sauter notre gouvernement. So, every 5th of November in England, enfin, tous les 5 novembre, ici en Angleterre, we, 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 we do a campfire, we do fireworks, yeah. It's probably more of a deal now than St. George's Day, which is the 23rd of April. C'est probablement plus important ici maintenant que le Saint-Georges, qui est le 23 uh, avril, which is ridiculous, qui est ridicule. But people are just, people are dicks because they're like, oh, St. George's Day, like that's fascism. <laughs> Since when is it wrong to be nationalistic about your own country? Um, des gens, ils sont trop cons parce qu'ils pensent que tu as fêté quelque chose, c'est fasciste. C'est pas, c'est pas incorrect de, de, de célébrer son propre pays. So, Good, we've had some messages. Oh, lovely. So, from Lee. Lovely, je suis content que tu viennes d'arriver. Say it again, Lee, faster, and give me some interest in the voice. Yeah? Those, I'm um, sorry, I'm... Um, those who don't understand, pour ceux qui ne comprennent pas, I'm using bien because I'm happy. So, je suis content que tu viennes, subjunctive. De plus infinitive, it's the one underneath. C'est celui au-dessus. Um, sorry, en dessous. Um, yeah, I just wanted fastly and a bit of interest. Plus rapide avec un peu d'intérêt. So, Don, he was going to go out because today is important in England. Good, Don. So everything else is correct apart from one thing. Don, what tense is a verb if you hear the word was? So have and has is one tense. What tense, Don? Just literally, you can type this out. You can type, uh, you can type this out uh, for me, um, but I would like you to, I would like you to send Tell me the word. What tense is it, uh, Don, where we use the word was? If you don't know, you don't know. Shinobi, I haven't got a message from you. No, Shinobi's Lee. I'm on a book. Okay. Um, Ray? So you gave me, Ray, j'ai besoin de changer. And yet, curiously, you gave me j'avais besoin changer. So your mouth needs to get used to using all of that correctly. Ta bouche a besoin de s'habituer à tout utiliser correctement. So if it's j'ai besoin de changer, could you give me the answer again, please, Ray, correctly? So I go, il aurait pu vous dire avant, I don't need, really need anything for the all. Uh, il aurait pu vous dire, enfin, il aurait pu, 
Enfin, tout vous dire. Enfin, I could slide in a twist if I wanted, but il aurait pu vous dire that will do before. But he was busy. So basically, I could, that's lovely, but I need he was busy. So again, same as I'm asking Don, la même chose que je pose à mon ami Don, what tense is was? C'est quel temps? Lovely. So what I want from you, Lee, ce que je veux de toi, is I want the speed, je veux la vitesse, but I want the flow as well. Alors, je suis content que tu viennes d'arriver. Yeah, je suis content que tu viennes d'arriver. So look in the mirror, and I don't want to see your mouth moving, okay? Je ne veux pas voir bouger tes lèvres. Good, Lee. Lovely. Um, next week, there won't be any classes during the week. So... That I can catch up. I have too much administration. I just believe. Ray. Lovely Ray and a nice voice. J'avais besoin de changer. So I'll write it out from Ray. Yeah, you're always going to have the dough with those ones. Right, excellent for you, Ray. Um, Ray understands it because he lives there too. I'd like you, Ray, to think of the two different ways you could say the last section. So that's, that's for Ray. J'aimerais que vous pensiez à. J'aimerais que vous pensiez aux deux manières différentes de dire euh, la deuxième partie. No, 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 so he was going, Don, I, I asked you a question, Don. Maybe I didn't really realize it. Um, I don't, maybe you didn't see it. Um, um, Charlotte, I'm sorry, I've just seen this. If you're here, Charlotte, can you just WhatsApp me message? Uh, sorry, I've been ignoring this. Um, did you tell me, Don, when I asked you what tense we were in? No, you didn't. So Don, I'll ask again. This is for Don. What tense, Don, do I need to be in if I've got... If I'm hearing the word was, it starts with the letter I. Yeah. Okay. Layla, you're welcome to take part. Just WhatsApp me. Okay. So, what tense do I need to be in, Don, if I'm starting with the letter I? Just tell me the name of that tense. Don't translate the whole thing. Just tell me the name of that tense. No, so Don, you've just given me, you've just sent the message you've sent me is just a voice message of what you previously written out. So Don, I don't want you to, I want you to tell me what, what tense, yeah? So what ton, tense, what tons, what tense, Don, is it when you hear something with the word was in English? Uh, C'est quel temps en français quand tu entends quelque chose avec le mot was? Uh, on anglais. I'm stressed, I'm going to eat my fries. Je suis stressé, je vais manger mes frites. Every Sunday, I do a massive one and a half hour ballet class. Tous les dimanches, je fais un cours énorme de danse classique. And the first thing I do on coming out, la toute première chose que je fais en sortant is to stuff my face and eat a load of McDonald's. Um, Without the bun, just the meat and the fries. La toute première chose que je fais en sortant, c'est de bouffer euh, des frites et un hamburger. But I... No, Don. So, let's make this clear, pour que ça soit bien clair. Have and has. You hear have and has. You are in the passé composé. 
Yes, yeah, so you you know you translate that as j marge. Okay. If you hear was were used to, if you hear was were and used to, si vous entendiez was were and used to, categorically in French it's going to be the imperfect. Okay. Can I remind you, Don? Est-ce que je peux vous rappeler that to form the imperfect pour former l'imparfait, this is the tense where we have it ending in an a sound. Everybody ends in an a sound. Chaque terminaison, c'est A. So if your verb is an A verb, so manger, danser, couper, then you're going to, you're fine. So for example, I, the verb to dance, danser, I was dancing, je dansais, versus j'ai dansé with three words. Now, I don't want you to look at this too much. Je ne veux pas que vous regardiez trop, but this would be je dansais versus j'ai dansé. The first one, is I was dancing. Don't think of the endings, don't think of the letter. Je danse versus j'ai danse, which is three words. So if I've got an A verb, I'm just going to copy it with the same sound. And if I've got a soft, hard verb done, so for example, sortir, then I'm going to add the A onto the end of the hard. So for example, sortir, the was will be sorté. So in other words, Don, everybody in the was tense is going to have an A ending. Everybody, apart from nous and vous, which is going to be eon and ea. So what I'd like you to do, Don, is you say the word, the verb to go. So when I say I was going or something like that, you just tell me, Don, what is the verb in question? What is the verb to go? Just tell me that, Don. You can write it or tell me. What's the verb to go? Lovely. So I've just had a beautiful piece of work from Ico, which is, il aurait pu vous dire avant, mais il était occupé. So can I just write that for you? So Don is now going to be confused because he's going to be, Don va être confus because he's going to say parce qu'il va dire, but I wrote it. And it was wrong. Mais j'ai écrit et ce n'était pas correct. If you're... No, 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 no. There's no plus que parfait, Don. There's no plus que parfait. Plus que parfait is had. Okay? So basically, if you have got the verb to be, être, if it's your only verb, si c'est votre seul verbe, then obviously you're going to say été. So Luke was at mad. Luke été fâché. Or Luke was happy. Luke été content. If you've got any other verb after the word was, Luke, Luke was dancing, Luke was eating, Luke was talking, then you don't say été. Two words for the imperfect. Luke parle, Luke danse, Luke mange. So if you email me, Don, si vous m'envoyez un, un message, un email, un courrier électronique, I will send you the, the videos about the imperfect. Je vous enverrai les vidéos à propos de l'imparfait. Okay? Lovely, Don. So the verb to go is aller. Is using my method, is aller, utilisant ma méthode, est-ce que le verbe aller, is it an A verb, that means does it end with the sound A, or is it a soft, hard verb, like partir, sortir? Just tell me, does it end in the sound A? Does aller end in the sound A? Sound A? Okay, good. So, Lee? Lee, you need to open your goddamn mouth and speak loudly. I say this every word. I cannot hear you. Put your phone near your mouth and speak loudly, fella. I can't hear you. So, Lee, la semaine prochaine, there isn't. It's going to have to be which tense in French if it's the future. So, il y a, ain't going to make sense. Good. What we've got, though, that's good from Lee is il n'y a pas de cours. So when there isn't, although a is wrong, but when you haven't got something, so if you said there aren't any, you say il n'y a pas de something. So if you said there isn't a problem, il n'y a pas de problème. You don't need to say il n'y a pas un problème. Yeah, so you use de with a negative, but I need the future in the, the correct chat. Good, so you said j'ai trop de choses administratives. So firstly, you've said j'ai trop de choses administratives. I like the going round, but otherwise, what is administration? 
Uh, Lee, it ends in an I-O-N. So it's going to be the same word in French 90% of the time. So too much administration. You don't need to say administrative things. Also, Lee, at your advanced level, if you've got an, an adjective if, I-F, chose is feminine. So even if you were saying administrative things, you'd say chose administrative, feminine. All right. So go again, Lee, and this time give me the word administration. Lovely, Don. You've totally got it. Well done. Good man. So I was going to go out, or he was going to go out, il allait sortir. I'm going to go out, je vais sortir, he's going to go out, il va sortir. He was going to go out, il allait sortir. The first verb is going to change. Nice, Don. Well done. So next sentence for Don. Luke was... Um, um, Luke used to want to be... A singer. I mean, you know, whatever. Luke used to want to be a singer. This is for Don. Was, were, used to, Don. So that's bloody telling me which tense I'm going to be in. No, Lee, I'm still not happy with what you've sent me. I've told you I want too much administration. And try and use polka rather than afanka, because afanka is a little bit too high all the time. Don't You don't want to be using that all the time. I think I told you that last week. So go again, and I don't want to hear the word chose administrative. I want to fucking hear administration. Go. And I don't care about your thin walls. People here can't hear you. Shout, shout, shout. YouTube question, is that Han? YouTube question, is that Han? Ray? Right, so Ray understands because he lives there. Ray, what is the verb to live, as in to be alive? And what is the verb to live in a place? Give me that again. Good. Think about it, Ray. What is the verb to live? And I'd like you to think of the two alternatives for the word for live. You've got la for the word for there. You've got la and e. I'd like you to try and do it with the pronoun e. So think about the word for to live, Ray. We've got two different verbs, to live in a place, yeah, and the verb to be alive. Which is the one I want here? No. Right. So how Charlotte has got a nice clear voice for bloody ones. I've got some that can speak clearly. So Charlotte, your tip. If you want to ask a question, you need to include the word esca as much as you possibly can. How is it I'm going to know is easier to say than how am I going to know? So let's just review the three methods, Charlotte, of asking a question very quickly. We've got tone of voice, esca, gesca, or um, inversion. So Charlotte, if you had, for example, vous habitez. If I wanted to say, do you live in London? I'd either say, vous habitez à Londres, tone of voice, that's the, that's the tone of voice. Habitez-vous à Londres, that's the inversion. Or tone of voice, or, or, or est-ce que, est est que vous habitez à Londres? Are you with me, Charlotte? Those are my three methods. When you bring in a question word, like how, why, when, who, yeah, you're going to use the same method. So let's say I said, you live where? So I'm either going to go, vous habitez où? So tone of voice, but the question word at the end. Or I'm going to start my other two methods using the question word. So I'm either going to say, où habitez-vous? So I'm going to have to go question word and then an inversion. Or I'm going to go, où est-ce que vous habitez? Is that clear, Charlotte? So how is it I can? Yeah. Comment est-ce que je peux? Or comment est-ce que je vais? Or, yeah, okay. So I'm going to give Charlotte something to translate. So um, uh, where did you used to live? during the war. 
That's for sure, lots of translate. Okay, Han, brilliant, right. Okay, I've got these fucking people with their crazy ass fucking weird YouTube names and the normal names. Han is a lovely, lovely, lovely name. Can't we just have you? Can't we just have your YouTube thing called Han? <laughs> right. So, ces gens avec leur nom d'utilisateur bizarre. Han, c'est un prénom adorable. Putain, ces gens qui utilisent ce nom d'utilisateur bizarre, quoi. Right. So, Han, I want. Um, um, I couldn't understand what they were saying. And it was to as they were speaking too quietly. Okay. That's for Han. Lee. Lovely Lee, that is nice French. So, um, that's the next question. Il ni, or you could get away without the no, you could say il y aura or n'y aura, but that would be conversationally. Il n'y aura pas de cours. To catch up. Um, J'ai trop d'administration. Lovely. So next one for Lee. Um, if you could follow me, sir, I would be happy. Believe. If you could follow me, sir, I'd be happy to show you where the meeting room is. That is for Lee. All I'd stress about Lee's one is when you use for in the past, you're going to use pendant. When you use for in the future, you're going to use pour. Quand vous utilisez le mot for au passé, ça va être pendant. So, for example, I went to Paris for two weeks. Je suis allé à Paris pendant deux semaines. Okay. Good. Uh, Ray? Lovely, lovely from Ray. So, je le comprends. Well, Ray understands it, but that's fine. You understand? Uh, Ray le comprend. I think it was. Parce qu'il... No one is saying that you can't say il habite là. Personne dit que tu ne peux pas dire il habite là. I just think it's nice for you. Je pense que c'est sympa pour vous de pouvoir vous habituer à utiliser le pronom un, to get used to using e. Okay, good. Lovely then, Ray, your next one is. It went very well. Thanks to Luke's organization. It went very well, thanks to Luke's, thanks to Luke's organization. So Charlotte is not a listener. Charlotte is not a listener. She's a talker, not a listener. I'll go again. If you've got where, if you've got any question word, you've got three options. You either start with the question word followed by an inversion. So for example, let's go with he. No, let's go with when. When did you eat? So uh, quand mangez-vous? When do you eat? Quand mangez-vous? Or when plus an inversion, so question word, question word plus inversion, so quand mangez-vous, question word plus est-ce que, quand est-ce que vous mangez, when do you eat, or tone of voice ending in a question, vous mangez quand. So I'd also like you to, uh, Charlotte, to remember, what did I give you? What did you do? What did I give you? 
What did you used to do? What, no, where did you used to live? What's the verb to live, Charlotte? I need to hear the used to form. For vous, if you're going to use vous or tu, I don't mind. But I haven't heard the used to form. As my new imperfect expert, Dom, will tell you, the verb, if you're using the uh, word used to, is the imperfect. Can you tell me the endings, Don? What are the was endings? Was imperfect. A for everybody. E on E A for nu and vous. Go again, Charlotte. But a nice, clear voice, I have to say, mais une jolie voix bien claire. Don, um, you're translating other people's. Don, I don't think I gave you that to do. What did I give Don to do? I can't remember what I gave you to do, Don, but um, I didn't give you that. All right, Don, can you only can you only translate your one, please? Okay, je vous demande simplement de traduire. La vôtre, your one. Okay, so this is for Don. I need to do what Luke says. That's for Don. I need to do what Luke says. Han? Je ne pouvais pas comprendre ce qu'il disait parce que il a parlé trop doucement. Lovely. Je ne pouvais pas comprendre ce que Luke disait. Now, are we saying disait or disait? Remember, we've got one S, so disait. So just say it for me again, saying it properly. Je ne comprends pas. What did I give you? Um, je ne pouvais pas comprendre ce qu'il dit. Lovely. So je ne pouvais pas. So let me just make this really clear. I couldn't, what did I give? Uh, uh, I couldn't understand what they were saying as they were speaking too quietly. Good. So... Je ne pouvais pas, or je n'ai pas pu, or je ne suis pas arrivé à, or je n'ai pas réussi à. All of those will work in that sense. So I wasn't able to understand, je ne pouvais pas comprendre. Sucker, which is what you have when what is not a question. Uh, what did I give you? What they were saying, ce qu'il disait. Because they were speaking. Too quietly. People like Don, les gens comme Don, notice they were speaking, il parlait. Notice this use of A for the was. Yeah, this A for the was. Great, okay. Um, okay, but Don, I want this as a voice message. I, I, I'm not marking text because you could just be Google translating that fella. I want to hear this as a voice message. I don't want it written down, fella. Anybody can just work that out. I want it said. Say it again for me, Don. So Lee has given me, si vous, if you could follow me, si vous pouviez yeah. me, me suivre, monsieur. So, je serai heureux. So, any of the have, any of the a, um, any of the, it's called the dinner party method, um, Lee. So, anybody at the table, tu, nous, vous, and je, 
And anybody away from the table, so third people, people at the table will use the as a link, people away from the table will use te as a link. So je suis ici, tu es ici, uh, versus ils sont ici. So je serai heureux, fine, you know, whatever. But Chinese content, je serai heureux, je serai content, je serai heureux. Lovely. Um, now, just a little note. Uh, if you could, si vous pourriez, because it's going in the future. If you could, could could be talking about the past, yeah, or it could be talking about the future. Yeah, so be mindful. Sometimes could will be pourriez, not pouvier. All last week, Lee, I could, you know, I, I couldn't eat. Je ne pouvais pas manger. Next week, I could eat if I came to your house. Je pourrais manger. So be careful in English going from could because could can go in both directions. Do you understand? If you just say yes to show me, you understand. Great. And next one for Lee. Um, notice as well, I'm just going to write out what he gave me. Um, if you could follow me. Um, what did I give you so that I can show you? Um, can't find what I gave you. What did I say? Si vous pourriez me suivre, monsieur. Let me listen to it and I'll write it out for people. It's like somebody asked me to write them out when I give the correction, sir. Yeah, so I'll be happy. Je serai heureux, so je, I would be. Notice the would spelling. Heureux pour content. Vous montrez. Ou with an accent, but I've not got European keyboard on. Yeah. Um, pour la salle de réunion. Okay. Notice those of you who are new to this verb. Remarquez ceux qui sont, c'est pour la première fois, c'est la première fois que vous avez vu ce verbe. To find in terms of where something's located is to find itself. So my house is by the church. Ma maison est près de l'église ou ma maison se trouve. So se trouver is to be located. Okay. Oh, a sea of green. We're getting somewhere, guys. This is what I like. Good. Don. Nice. Uh, now, pronunciation, Don. D-I-T, is there a vowel at the end of it? J'ai besoin de faire ce que Luc dit. So we've had that nicely. Could we pronounce that last word properly, Don, and then we'll be ready to move on. Good. Je ne pouvais pas comprendre ce qu'il disait parce qu'il parlait trop doucement. Lovely. So that is hand. Next one for hand. Um, um, if I'm not mistaken, Luke is going to buy him some son after um, waking up. If I'm not mistaken, Luke's going to buy himself some after waking up. That is for, um, that is for, uh, who is that for? Is that for Lee? No, that's Han. That's Han. Good. Okay. Shinobi, don't be a pushy bitch. There's a list. There's a waiting list. I, I do them in the order I get them. Ray? Right, so Ray, I'm going to give you a verb and you're going to put it in the right sense. The verb to make sense, it's, the verb to happen is se passer. And the word you're going to use for it is ça. Se passer, Ray, is a reflexive verb. C'est un verbe reflexif. Ça fait partie des verbes pronominaux. It's a pronominal verb. So if I gave you he got washed, what would you do, Ray? 
you surpass it. It is reflexive and it is in the past. That should conjure something up for you. Aiko? Aiko, I apologize. You gave the correct answer and I didn't give you one. Aiko, um, um, it had gone well. Um, it had gone badly. Thanks. You could start negative. Uh, um, this of fact there were too many too many children. It had gone badly because of the fact there were too many children. What were we talking about? Plenty of things that go badly when children are involved. If someone's ringing me to try and remind me No, that was a ring to get me to look at that. I should be pissed the fuck off. Wait your turn, whoever this is. So basically, D-I-T, D. So we don't pronounce words in French, mostly, not all the time, pour la plupart, when there's not an E on the end. So D, so je dis, D, D, D. Okay, D, D, D. We don't say the Dit. Dit is the vous form, because there's an E after the T, Dom. Better. So, new one for Dom. Um, I am leaving this evening. I am going out with my friend. That is for Dom. The verbs you are using, Don, are going to be in the P and an S. Shinobi, I've not got a message from you. I've, I've not got. Hang on. Lovely, lovely. So Ray's given me ça c'est passé très bien. So he's correctly given me, but not totally correctly, ça c'est passé. He's given me the fact that the happen is a reflexive verb, and that is how you would do it in the past. Il a reconnu que le fait, le fait que euh, ce passé, c'est un verbe reflexif, et ça s'utilise ainsi au passé. However, what Ray has not remembered is the rule, adverbs after verb number one. Les adverbes après le premier verbe. So can you go again, Ray, and can you bung in your adverb after verb number one? Ça s'est passé... Which is the first verb? Bung in your très bien where it needs to go. See, Han, this is the crap thing. I now can't find you because your name isn't. So, Han, if you message me, I will send you another one. I haven't had one from Charlotte. Charlotte, how are you doing with yours? Do you know what? I'm so sick and fucking sick of this fucking bullshit. One name moniker bullshit. Qu'est-ce que j'en ai marre de ce putain de problème de nom d'utilisateur? From now on, you have the same name on your freaking computer as you do on your WhatsApp. Jesus Christ, you're a bunch of fucking geeks. And that's coming from me because I'm the king of the geeks. Et ça vient de moi parce que moi je suis le roi des geeks. Have a bloody normal name. Have the same name on your thing. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I do. Fry, anybody?
Right, Shinobi. Can you give me, using the verb, sonale, Shinobi, oh, what the fuck, Shinobi? Can you give me, Charlotte is cleared off, left, and one, BTC. Using sonale, can you say, Charlotte is cleared off? Can you just put sonale in the past? I'm waiting for one from. No, I didn't give you that, uh, Dom. I gave you. I am going out. Same again, two present tenses. Yeah, I am going out. Charlotte, where's your one? Si je ne me trompe pas, il va s'embrayer après s'être rêvé. That was some nice work, but I didn't understand the bit in the middle. Luke is going to buy himself some. After waking up. If I'm not mistaken, Luke is going to buy himself some after waking up. Can you do, give me that again? A lot of better grammar in there from you. There's some nice grammar. Right? Good. Now, Ray, that was nicely balanced there. Ça, c'était bien équilibré. What I liked, ce qui m'a plu, yes, you said it correctly. Oui, tu l'as dit correctement. But the the stress, the stress, the emphasis, the concentration was on the adverb. Ça s'est très bien passé. That was nice, Ray. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So can you now um, say for me that will not happen um, whilst I am dealing with the project. The verb to deal with, Ray, is an ABC verb, s'occuper de. That is for Ray. If you needed to look up the word whilst, lovely, 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 lovely. Brilliant, Charlotte on Sonetale. But why is it being written? Why is it not being fucking said, Shinobi? This is why you get forgotten because you don't send the message of it. Oh, you have, but you're writing it as well. Well, then that's just been a pushy little bastard, isn't it? That's like, oh, Luke, have you seen the fact I've sent you a WhatsApp? Wait your bloody turn. <laughs> Good. So Charlotte Sonny Ale, let's see if you did it the second time with the link. What did I say about the dinner party earlier? Were you there for the dinner party? When you've got two open mouths, Charlotte, is she at the dinner table? You, I, you, I, you, we, you, plural, or is she away from the dinner table? So will her link be ze or will her link be te? Some people don't shine Obi, but at your level, we should. No, Don, present tense, I am, I am. So basically, Don, sorry, I eat, je mange, yeah, I eat. Now, some verbs use je suis, they do, Don, but that's not the present tense, that's the past tense. If you look at je suis allé, that is I went. It's conjugating, Don, ça se conjugue, with the verb to be in the middle, avec le verbe être au milieu. But that is not how you say I am doing something. I am doing something or I do something is the same in French. Yeah, there is only one way, Don, of doing the present tense in French. And there is no, you don't use the verb to be. So Don is talking would just be Don Fowl. Don talks 
would also be Don Fal. So what I'm trying to say to you, Don, is if you've got the verb partir and you've got the verb sortir, how are you going to say in the present tense, just give me, Don is going out, Don is leaving. Just give me those, just give me those two sentences said, oral messages, so I'm going to need four words. Don, blank, Don, blank. Yeah? And don't use the verb to be in the present tense in French, Don. What's the verb to buy? Han, what's the verb to buy? Acheter. Go again with the verb acheter. There we go. Good. So you've got it more or less. So, uh, si je ne me trompe pas, Luke's going to buy himself some. One of them. Après s'être réveillé. Nice work. Nice work from you. Yeah. Next one for you, Han. After making a mistake, I was sad that, and, and, and it was me that made a me that made a mistake. Yeah, me. After making a mistake, I was sad that he made a mistake. Both times using the topic. Nice. Vous habitiez. Lovely. Well done. So Charlotte has given me you lived where during the war. We could have had où est-ce que vous habitiez ou vous habitiez où. Yeah, or où habitiez-vous. Yeah. So I would generally streamline your French to this, Charlotte, particularly for the exams. Okay. Ditch inversions. I really, really would. I really would ditch inversions for the moment and just go with, I'm going to either use esque at the beginning or I'm going to use the tone of voice. Do you want to go out this evening? Vous voulez sortir ce soir? Or est-ce que vous voulez sortir ce soir? Notice, Charlotte, both of my versions start with the person and then the verb. Remarque, Charlotte, que les deux, enfin, mes deux versions commencent avec le sujet plutôt que le verbe. Okay? So always try and do that. You're not ultimately going to change the bit. Now, you're going to use see things commonly. Have you eaten? As-tu mangé? I'm not a fan. I just prefer, honestly, tu as mangé or t'as mangé slang or est-ce que tu as mangé? So just do that and you won't get in a mess. So what am I telling you, Charlotte, you who's doing an exam? Qu'est-ce que je te dis, toi qui fais des examens? Um, uh, toi qui passes des examens? Is you need to try and use esca in the middle more. So another one for Charlotte. Why did she ask the question? Do this orally, Charlotte. Do me one version with just the tone of voice, yeah? And do me one version, in other words, starting with L. Do me one version starting with L. And do me another version starting with pourquoi, but I want to hear the esque in the middle of it. Off you go. That's for Charlotte. But good God, Charlotte has got a clear voice. It's such a bloody relief compared to people that whisper to me. Mais qu'est-ce qu'elle parle bien? Qu'est-ce que c'est bien clair? Putain, ça me soulage par rapport à ceux qui me murmurent, ceux qui chuchotent. Lee? Charlotte s'en est allée. Charlotte s'en est allée. Say for me, je me suis. So just right, say for me. Je me suis, tu t'es, il say, nous nous sommes, vous vous êtes, il se sent. Say the poetry past me. Then go again in the same voice message. I want to hear it. Je m'en suis, tu t'en es, il s'en est, nous nous en sommes, vous vous en êtes, il s'en sent. And to be really clever, we can have je ne m'en suis. Yeah? 
to Natone, so we can go with the negative as well as that as well. Okay, so I'd like you to do that for me. Can you just do that back to me? Je me suis tu au okay. gauche. Je me suis. Je m'en suis. Tu t'es tu t'en es. Il sait. Il s'en est. Work your way down the list. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but I'd like to hear that from you. Yeah, I'd like to hear that from you. My daughter's just saying hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Don. So you might have had to do some looking up. I don't mind, but the point is, gone back because it's a four. Don so we don't pronounce the T. Good. Lovely, Don. I'd now like past, which is going to be three words. Don left. Don went out. I'm going to need three words and then another three words. Don. Brilliant. No, Han, after having made a mistake, first person, yeah? So um, after, it's like after I'd made, after making a mistake, but the point is, after making a mistake, using the verb tromper requires a choice. If you stick a reflexive verb, Han, in the past, you can't be neutral. After eating is neutral. Après avoir, sorry, Ike, I'll be with you in a moment. After eating is neutral. Après avoir mangé. That could be anywhere, anybody. Après avoir mangé, Luke did this, Han did this, the lovely Iko did this, Charlotte did this. It could be anybody. If you're using a reflexive verb, after getting washed, you need in your reflexive verb to have chosen your appropriate reflexive pronoun, don't you, Han? Yeah? So basically, I'm saying after making a mistake, in other words, after I made a mistake, yeah? Right. Let's listen to Iko again. I apologize. So, um, mal tourné is the phrase Aiko's using. Aiko, I'd like you um, to use, now where did I give you uh, that, um, where did you, um, let's do a find. Oh, brilliant, I've just discovered I can use find function on the, um, lovely. Um, so, I basically, Aiko, to tourner mal, what, you, what you've used is kind of the event went badly. Um, but that would be more like it started okay and then it went badly, okay? I'd like you to use Ico specifically, specifically the verb to pass it. So can I just make really clear, everybody, the main verb to happen is se passer. To happen to a person is arriver and you're going to need to use the indirect pronoun with it. You're going to have to use two. So that happens to me, ça m'arrive or ça m'est arrivé. I'm using the verb to be in the middle. I know that's batshit crazy, but that's what you do. The verb to happen generally, just to happen generally, is se passer. The verb is se passer. So I would like Aiko using, if I'm not pronouncing your name properly, Aiko, is it Aiko or whatever, could you please tell me at the beginning of the next message? Si je ne prononce pas ton prénom correctement, ma chère, ma chérie, est-ce que tu pourrais me dire au début de, du prochain message? So basically, it had gone badly. I'm looking for the pluperfect of the verb se passer, which is reflexive. Aiko, if you wouldn't mind. But the next bit, à cause du fait qu'il y avait trop d'enfants, I think that sounded correct. Okay, so just that again, but with using the verb se passer. We've got Charlotte. So lovely. So, pourquoi est-ce qu'elle a demandé la question? Pourquoi est-ce qu'elle a posé la question? So, we'd say demander quelque chose or poser une question. So, lovely, Charlotte. So, elle a, elle a posé la question pourquoi? Yeah, or elle, mais elle a posé la question pourquoi? Yeah. Inversion would be pourquoi a-t-elle? Poser la question. Pourquoi a-t-elle posé la question? Mais pourquoi est-ce qu'elle a posé la question? Nicer. Notice, est-ce que is nicer? Pourquoi est-ce qu'elle a posé la question? Lovely. Do me two more, Charlotte. Um, how had 
he arrived. Charlotte, straight away. Give me a version starting with in. Give me a version starting with the word how. And remember what's the phrase I want to get into question. Oh, okay, Charlotte. Aussi, j'ai... I don't mention a lady's name. Et parle français en vacances. C'était une autre, uh, I think it's another girl, or another who's learning, qui apprend, yeah, qui apprend, yeah, uh, pour le, les examens. Raymond. Lovely. Now, I think there's been a little bit of looking up here, Ray, which I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. But like I said, the main verb to happen is se passer. So you can use arriver on its own. You don't have to use arriver with a person. You know, ça arrive, that happens. But I would like you to do that, Ray, for me, using se passer. I'd still like you to stick it in the future. I'd like you to try not to look it up. I mean, I don't mind you looking it up and then working out how that happened. But basically, do what you did to the future with arriver, becoming arrivera. Okay? The verb is se passer. So try the future for that one, yeah? But well done, Ray. Tandis que, oh, lorsque. Lorsque, whilst. Okay, go again, Ray. Now also, Ray, I told you the verb to look after was s'occuper de. It's an ABC verb, Ray. If you don't know what an ABC verb is, Ray, I think you actually asked for another class and I haven't been able to sort that out. So if you did want another class next week, um, Give it till Monday, Tuesday, and send me a private WhatsApp again, and I'll sort that out for you. I do think you sent me a message about that. But basically, I've been so fucking busy. But Ray, can I remind you the ABC verbs? ABC verbs are verbs which are reflexive. Ce sont des verbes qui sont pronominaux, with, or, who also, which also have a preposition. Qui ont aussi une préposition. So you have to stick to the same preposition. Some of them will have a de, some of them will have an a. So if you've got s'occuper de, then it doesn't matter what you're doing that verb, the verb is going to use de or something to do with de, like don or en, all right? So for example, I look after the girl, je m'occupe de la fille. The verb I gave you with s'occuper, you're looking after a project, which is le projet. I'd like you to think about what's going to happen if you've got de and le. So go again, Ray, you've got two things to work on. The accent is sounding much, much, much better though, Ray. Lovely, 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 lovely from Don, but will you stop bloody writing it down? Arrête de l'écrire. All that shows me is you've done copy-paste from somewhere else. Say it for me. This is a spoken class. Arrête de l'écrire. Putain de merde, c'est encore parlé. À l'oral, oralement. Say it for me. You've actually got quite a clear voice, Don. Vous avez une voix assez claire. Lovely. Charlotte. Oh. Lovely, Charlotte. Now remember, remember, remember that, that what we're talking about today with the dinner party. So what's the dinner party? It's when you've got two open mouths back to back. Um, so il était arrivé. I've got so a and a. I've got open to open. It's known linguistically as a hiatus. Okay, a hiatus. Might be a scruffy piece of shit. Do know what I'm talking about. So basically, when you've got a hiatus in French, that is where you are more likely to do the liaison. So, il était, il était arrivé. It's completely fine French, Charlotte. I just like you to also be familiar with the liaison. So, il était arrivé. How else am I going to say that? Bearing in mind, he is one of the people not at the table. Remember the method? So, he, she, they, and it, they're away from the table. So, the link will be a t. Give me that again, Charlotte. But that was good. Lovely. Après m'être trompé, je suis pas. Now, this is quite heavy, but it's, you know, uh, it's just to push a uh, little bit of grammar. Après m'être trompé. Reflexive. Um, 
je suis triste qu'il se soit trompé. Subjunctive, because I'm sad that. If you don't get why that's subjunctive, send me an email to, and then anything that you're not sure of in this lesson, send me an email to logiclanguagelearning.gmail.com, and I'll tell you, and just say what your issue was, and I'll send you the appropriate videos. Uh, Ray, I don't think it's called, hi Nina, it's nice to see you. Um, Ray, I don't think it's called ABC, um, I've been newly calling it that. And I wish I'd called it that from the beginning because it really makes people think you need a reflexive and then the standard verb and then a normal verb. Uh, originally, it wasn't called that. Originalement, ça s'appelait pas comme ça. Récemment, recently, je viens de changer comment je parle de, de ce, ce genre de verbe. I've, I've chose, changed how I recently talked about this verb, okay? But if you just email me and I will send it you, okay? It's basically using reflexive verbs with de. Il s'agit d'utiliser les verbes pronominaux avec la préposition de. All right? Um, if you've not been given something and you read you of, uh, of something to translate, will you please message me? Yeah, so Han is due. Okay. Um, um, I'm sick of forgetting. Them. I'm sick of forgetting them. I should deal with it. That's the hand. I'm sick of forgetting them. I should deal with it. Lee? Good. Je me suis ai, je me suis tu t'es, il say, nous nous sommes. Great. So with that in mind then, Shinobi, can you now give me um, I had bought myself some. It's reflexive past, it's in the plus perfect, and it's also got a sum. That's for Shinobi. Don, I have to congratulate you. Je dois te féliciter. I like your accent. J'aime bien ton accent. Okay. So um, Don is going to have. I am going to continue uh, to learn French. That's for Don. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte, a liaison is called a liaison because it is a link. So we do it linking the words together. Otherwise, it can't happen. So what that means is it needs to happen. And generally, Charlotte, this is about you need to link your French together. Don't move. Now, don't be. Yeah, but Luke, it's it's a foreign bloody language. I can't obviously race through it because I don't know what's coming next. Tu vas me dire, Luc, c'est une, un, un, une langue étrangère. Je ne peux pas aller trop vite parce que je ne sais pas forcément ce qu'il y a après. I'm telling you, just take your time. Prends ton temps. Stay in the previous word. Reste. Reste là où tu es. So, uh, je vais uh, lui dire que je ne... You know, stay with the previous word. So, go again. Do the same link you've just done. But don't put a big bastard pause in the middle. But nice, clear voice. And yes, the answer to your question, la réponse à ta question is yes. That's what we would say. Speaking nicely. Uh, il était arrivé. Il était arrivé. I would say that. I wouldn't say il était arrivé. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I mean, obviously, I speak reasonably well and cleanly for you guys. Évidemment, je parle bien pour vous. But even if I was speaking normally, même si je parlais normalement, even if I was speaking with family, même si je parlais avec de la famille, avec de la famille I would say, J'étais allé. There are those who would say, il y a ceux qui diraient, j'étais allé. But I will always do the links. Moi, je ferai toujours les liens. Always. YouTube question. Uh, what's this? Je 
So you give me je devrais les régler. Régler c'est solve it. I would like the verb to deal with it. The verb to deal with it, as my friend Ray will tell you, is s'occuper de. S'occuper de. Go again. So that is for Han. I'd like the ending with s'occuper. But the first bit was good. No, no, no. Okay, so basically, this is now for ACO. So I'm just going to explain this to you. Right, so if the verb is... Guys, guys, this is for everybody. If you don't understand... If you don't understand the verb to happen, just look. Just stop what you're doing and watch, all right? The verb is surpassé. Okay? And generally, it gets used with ça. That's, a, that's an easier way of handling it. I mean, this is one of the problems in French is that there's the word il, there's the word elle, there's, there's different words for it. But we're going to use ça. Yeah? Ça se passe... Ça, say, passé, just like any other reflexive past. That had happened. I mean, if I gave you the verb to wash, je me lave, let's say it with he, il se lave, il s'est lavé, il s'était lavé, il se lavera, you'd be comfortable. Swap il for ça, swap lavé for passé. Yeah? So that had happened, ça s'était, that, that had gone well, ça s'était mal Passé. So the verb to go well in terms of how well something went. Did your birthday go well, my darling? Yes, it did. Will be it happened well. Ça s'est bien passé or it had gone well. Ça s'était bien passé. That went badly. Ça s'est mal passé. That had gone badly. Ça, ça, ça s'était mal passé. If you need the video on that, the verb to happen, and I talk about the different ways of doing it, again, logic, language, learning at gmail.com i will tell you what it is so the last seven minutes okay good and then i'm going to eat like a pig i do not want a message written from don i'm not even going to read it i'm not even going to read it i'm not even going to read it i'm not going to read it i want it orally don Yes, je m'en suis acheté. Did I give you? I bought myself some. I can't remember what I gave. What I gave Lee. Je m'en suis acheté is correct French. I'm just making sure it's the French I gave him. Let me just do a quick search. Ash, I know, but I had bought myself some. So if I gave you without the on, so basically the point of, of this is being able to do more than one thing at the same time. At the same time, we need to be able to do the tense changes. We need to be able to add a pronoun. We might even need to be able to add an adverb at the same time. So if I gave you, I got washed, Shinobi, and I, you give me, je me suis lavé. If I gave you, I had gotten washed, you wouldn't say, je me suis lavé. You change the auxiliary. So can you remember that? And can you do what you've just done? So well done. You've nicely put the on in it. But what I'm saying is you're going to have sentences where you have to pop an, an on in it. You're going to have to stick a pronoun in it. You're going to have to stick an adverb in it. And you're also going to have to um, change tenses. So the really good exercise for you, Shino, but if you email me and I send you the video, can you just send me um, an email saying tenses game with adverbs and what is it? The tenses game with adverbs and um, pronouns. Tenses game with adverbs and pronouns, Shinobi, send me the email. I will send you the game on how to do that. Because my point is you should instantly be able to do the adverb and the tense and a pronoun because you know that's 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 basically french done so send me an email chap and i will sort that out for you envoie moi un email et je, je m'en occuperai 
Ray. Lovely, ça se passera pas lorsque je m'occupe du projet. Lovely, so je m'occupe du projet. OK? Je m'occupe du projet. OK? Ray, can you now give me? Ray, I am dealing with it. Can I remind you, Ray, that the ABC verb was s'occuper de. The A bit was se. The B bit was the verb occuper. And the C bit was de. If I said, I'm dealing with it, okay? I suppose because je m'occupe de ça, but it's a bit shitty French. I'd like you to think, what do we do with verbs where we get rid of the de and what comes next? It doesn't always need to be an ABC verb, right? It could be like a verb with, with just, the, with, you know, so j'ai besoin de la crème. How do you say, I have need of it? What's the little word I'm going to use? So I'd like you to put that, Pronoun with je m'occupe. How are you going to say I'm dealing with it? Off you go, that's for Ray. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That was really, really nice, Han. J'en ai marre de les oublier, donc je devrais. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, Han, tell me where you're from originally. Let me know your exact whereabout you grew up because I can hear this. Your, your place of choice is eh, 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 here, and I need eh or uh. So, devre, yeah, devre, not devre, all right? Good. Um, Han, I'd like you to do that has happened to me too, or it happened, now that had never happened to me either it's challenging that had never happened to me either before it happened to me last week no more new work is going to be given out apart from that now i'm just marking what comes in from that and then we're going to finish right so no more new work Charlotte. Comment est-ce qu'il est? What did I say? How did he arrive? Comment est-ce qu'il est arrivé? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good, good, good. So all I'd say to you, Charlotte, la seule chose que je te dirais is to be. You've got a very nice voice. You've got a very nice set of consonants. Vous prononcez bien les consonnes. Be careful that the focus in your work is on the vowels. Faites bien attention. Enfin, je vais te tutoyer. I'm going to tutoyer you. Fais bien at attention que tu le prononces bien. That you pronounce the focus well on the consonants. That's what I want. And on, on the vowels, sorry. Alors, um, alors, moi, je suis arrivé. Moi, je suis arrivé. Go long. Go long. Not je suis arrivé. Parce que, because that's getting a little bit sort of British, English, East Coast American, neat, neat, neat in the mouth. And I, I can't have that, all right? The main way, in, the, there's three reasons why, Charlotte, and I'm going to make that really clear. Number one is it's going to slow you down speaking quickly because if you speak quickly and you don't breathe through the vowels, you'll have, and you can't really see that at the moment because when I don't do a live, when I do a live video, the, the, the lag stops you seeing my mouth moving that quickly. But it's, it's, it would be like lots of mouth movement. Oui, alors moi je vais, euh, moi je vais te parler. You know, you've got to keep the mouth reasonably closed. You're just going to breathe through it. The second reason, Charlotte, my darling, is that you sound quite smart on grammar and vocabulary, but you want your listening to be impeccable. And if someone is speaking to you quickly and without the links, sorry, with the links, and all in a go, we're not going to bother speaking. On ne veut pas vous parler comme ça en français. Oui, alors effectivement, Charlotte, des gens en France, putain, tu vois, on est facile, on est facile, quoi. Mais on est quand même assez paresseux, tu vois. Nos phrases euh, vont sortir, euh, tu vois, d'une manière plus détendue. We're not going to do, we're going to do like, a, we're going to do a joined up way of speaking, which means you will be buggered, my darling, if you don't, you know, if you don't sort of get used to this long way of going through the, um, the vowels, okay? So a really nice game for that, Charlotte, would be to find a sentence, make sure it's all linked first, because that was one of your issues from earlier. Lovely clarity, but make sure it's all linked. Don't race. 
don't race. Make sure it's all linked. Je vais vous donner quelque chose à faire. Now keep it slow again, Charlotte, but put some interest in it. Je vais vous donner quelque chose à faire. Now see how much you can race. Je vais vous donner, mais je vais vous donner quelque chose à faire. Blowing and keeping your mouth reasonably soft. That is what I would say. Then face the mirror and see just deliberately, deliberately, how little mouth movement you can arguably get away with. And all of you can do this. Je vais vous donner quelque chose à faire. That will help your brain start hearing vowels without consonants on them and your listening will go through the roof, particularly when men are speaking, particularly when working class men are speaking, right? Um, but well done, Charlotte, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. I see great things. All the top boys here, all the clever ones, they were piss poor when we started. Tous les grands, ils étaient de la merde quand on a commencé and they've made so much impressive progress. Lovely. Lovely. So, je vais continuer à. So, lovely, Don. Lovely accent, Don. Lovely accent, Don. A lot of grammar to learn, but lovely accent from Don. Je vais continuer à apprendre le français. Continuer à apprendre. So, our point here is, after continuer, we have à. Okay? I also was going to give you, I decided to continue. J'ai décidé de. Okay, so some verbs just have extra prepositions. Lovely, Don, I hope to see you here again. Ray. So to answer Ray's question, I gave Ray, I deal with it. So if I gave Ray, je mange, and I gave him, I eat the cake, I eat the cake, je mange le gâteau. Can we all acknowledge that je mange is freaking direct? Look at it. Manger goes straight a bloody cross into le gâteau. Ça passe directement au gâteau. It goes right to the cake. So I eat it is je, je le mange. That is direct. It's direct because there ain't no preposition between the verb and your thing. I see Ch Charlotte. Je vois Charlotte. Yeah, that's direct. There's nothing between voix and Charlotte. I talk to Charlotte, je parle à Charlotte. There was something between parler and à. Sorry, there's something between parler and Charlotte. That therefore makes that indirect. So that's why that would be je lui parle, not je parle, not je la parle. In the phrase je m'occupe du projet, between the verb occuper and between the word le projet, it is certainly not direct, Ray. You cannot use le. You've got there's a duh. And to make this point, in English, listen up, guys. This is really, 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 really freaking important. In English, most a, a lot of verbs sound standard. So I love, I love Ray. I love Han. I see Shinobi. I want Charlotte, whatever, okay? I remember Han, I'm looking after Han, I'm getting rid of Han. So your brain, so if you then when I remember him, I deal with him, you want to go in the same, je le, je le, je le. No, A, B, C verbs, look at them, they are se, then the verb, then a prep. Your person has to go after the preposition. They have to. You cannot stick them in the middle of the preposition of the sentence. You can stick things in like en and e when talking about situations, but not people. So, for example, if I had the verb se souvenir de, could we all just have a little look? Se souvenir de. Yeah, okay. People are going now because there's a bit of grammar. That's nice, nice manners. So, se souvenir de, I'm gonna have to keep my de. So, I remember him. Je me souviens de lui. I'm going to end up using the same object pronouns that come at the end as, as if you had with, avec moi, avec toi, avec nous, avec vous, avec eux, avec whatever. So when you've got a, an ABC reflexive with a preposition verb, you can't use le. You can use dans or on if it's got a de. So they are trident verbs, right? Email me, I'll mail you about tridents. So il a besoin de la fille, he needs, no, let's say de la tarte, he needs the tart. the tarte dont il a besoin, 
you on at the one. So with the do verb, basically you can use do, do, or of according to where it goes in the sentence. So he looks after the, the project. He s'occupe. Okay. Yeah. The project dont il s'occupe. Or il s'en occupe. Now that is how you'd say he deals with it. Also, I deal with it, je m'en occupe. For people, do not do this. Use the moi, toi, lui. That goes for any ABC verb. So, for example, to get used to is ABC verb, c'est habitué à. Belle for chose. So you've got a so plus an habitué plus an a. Is it an ABC verb? Yes, it is. That means reflexive with a verb and then a preposition. If I want to say I'm getting used to him or I'm getting used to his voice, you're not going to say je me l'habitue. No. So je m'habitue à lui. Je m'habitue à la femme. I'm getting used to the woman. Okay? You're going to have to stick it. Or if you're talking about a thing, you can use e. Je m'y habitue. Tu t'y Habitue, il s'y habitue. I made you practice earlier, guys, with je me suis, je m'en suis. I could do je me suis, je m'y suis. So in short, what I'm saying is, when you've got an ABC verb, a reflexive verb with a preposition on the end, a reflexive verb with a preposition on the end, when you don't use a name, so I remember Joanna, je me souviens de Joanna. I remember her. Her is not going to become la, or lui, it's going to have to sit after the de still, Je me souviens d'elle. If that is not clear, email me straight away saying, Luke, I don't get what you mean by an ABC verb, and I will send you the logic language learning video on it. But I swear to God, particularly the, some, of the, some of you who look like you're, you know, you're going to do well, people like Charlotte, people, you know, like people that, you know, got a good voice, but they're on the cusp of learning the grammar. Get this stuff down because I cannot tell you how many verbs in French ABC verbs. I'm teasing him. Yes, you can say je le taquine, but je me moque de lui. I mock myself of him. Why is it reflexive, you'll all say? Why is it reflexive? Why is it I'm mocking myself? I should be mocking him. You want to say je le moque. But it's like I'm getting myself involved with mocking him. I'm dealing with him. Why is it not je le, I him? It's I occupy myself of him. I remember him. Well, why is it not like I him remember? It's I remember to my own brain of him. It's a lot of these verbs. I deal with him. Je m'occupe de lui. I getting. I'm getting used to him. Je m'habitue à you know whatever. Um, I'm um, I'm getting rid of him. Je me débarrasse de lui. I get on well with him. Je m'entends bien avec lui. These, there are a lot of ABC verbs. Good. Good, good, good. Um, email me if you don't know what an ABC verb is, um, which is basically a reflexive verb with de or with a or with something else. I will try and give you guys a little bit of notice. I'm not sure if I'm doing the class next week because I'm having the week off for admin. Um, if not, yeah, say hi, WhatsApp questions on grammar, all this kind of business. You know, don't be strangers. Um, okay, but please, for the love of God, the beginning of next time, can you try, try, try to message me from the beginning? Because it's just really unfair, unfair for people like Don and Ray and Ico who turn up from the beginning and I can't do it because there's no point starting it unless there's enough people because we're just sitting in silence. Yeah. All right, then, guys, uh, loads of love. Thank you for your continued support. Um, if there's a topic that you don't, can't find a video on and you want me to give you the appropriate video, please just drop me a message or a WhatsApp saying, Luke, can't find a video on this. Could you send it to me? All right. Loads of love, guys. Speak to you uh, probably in a, a couple of weeks now. Take care.